Now, using the formulas that, well, this one I derived, and then the others that you have in your book, this is pretty straightforward. Um, in order to find the derivative, I'm just going to use that formula, u prime. Well, of course, u, I don't have to write this, but you understand that u is always going to be uh, a function in terms of x. So if u is x squared, then u prime is 2x all over the square root of 1 minus, well, u squared is going to be u to the fourth. Done. Next example, f of x is equal to x squared times arctan of x. So you should notice product rule. So I'm going to do the derivative is equal to the first times derivative of the second. Well, again, this one's pretty straightforward. It's in terms of x. I don't really have a, um, a u scenario going on, so it's pretty straightforward. The derivative of arctan is going to be u prime. Well, u prime is just 1 over 1 plus u squared, and u is really just x, so it's x squared. So first times derivative of the second plus the second times derivative of the first, and the derivative of the first is 2x. So this can be cleaned up a little bit. f prime of x is equal to x squared all over 1 plus x squared plus 2x times arc tan of x. All right, one more example, finding the derivative. Um, so again, it's, you know, you've got two terms here and you're treating them separately. You've got maybe a quotient rule and then you've got your inverse tan to, um, to deal with. So arc tan of u, again, u prime. So u prime, here's my u. u prime is equal to 1 half. 1 plus u squared, so it's going to be x squared over 4, minus, so now I take the derivative of this, so I can, you know, if you want to, you know, 1 half times the quantity x squared plus 4, so let's just think about it that way, I want to rewrite it. You know me and my quotient rule. 1 half x squared plus 4 to the negative 1. All right, and I probably want to take this and, and clean that up. I don't want complex fractions there. So what do I have in the denominator? I have 4 over 4. And this is really 4 over 4. So I have 4 plus x squared over 4, or 1 half times 4 over 4 plus x squared. And then I can reduce this and this and get the 2. All right, so that works for that for now. And then I'm going to do the derivative of this. I get the chain rule. Minus... Well, the negative one-half comes out to be negative, sorry, the negative one comes out times the, neg the one-half, blah, negative one-half. So the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside, 2x. All right, so that's going to get all fixed to and the one-half cancel. This goes to positive. This is going to go in the denominator. 
So what do I have here? 2 over 4 plus x squared plus x over x squared plus 4 squared. Isn't that the same as 4 plus x squared? So it looks like I could probably go one more step here. Oops. And give common denominator x squared plus 4 over x squared plus 4. So final answer, hmm, maybe 2x squared plus x plus 8 in my numerator. And actually, I'm okay with keeping that in factored form. Denominator is x squared plus 4 squared. Done. So you get a little calculus going on. Arctan inverse, and then you get a chain rule, and then cleaning everything up. All right, see you tomorrow.